Hey everybody, it's Sandra here from A Clean and Simple Life. So I'm just making some balsamic and Parmesan chicken fingers for dinner. And given that it's Simple Saturday, I wanted to come to you with a little kitchen hack, I guess, or a meal plan hack um, to keep life simple. Chicken fingers are a big favorite around our house. I don't know about your house, but you know what? My 15 year old son could live on chicken fingers. And as much as I try to find the really good ones in the grocery stores that are, you know, all white meat and gluten free or whatever, not that we're gluten free, but I try to find the ones that are very, very good, you know, as good as possible, let's put it that way. But let's face it, they're still all cooked in oils. They've still got a lot more fat in them. They've got preservatives and additives that help them have a longer shelf life. So not always a great thing and I try to avoid doing that as much as I can. So, and making my own chicken fingers is pretty easy, I have to admit, but what my, uh, my hack is uh, that I wanted to share with you guys is when I do make things like chicken fingers, uh, I usually try to make a big batch. So instead of just making enough for dinner tonight, which would have been maybe a couple of chicken breasts for all of us, I went out and I've got, I think I've got four pounds of chicken here, cut it all up into, into strips and I'm doing a simple dredge here. Uh, I've got the chicken marinated in a balsamic vinaigrette and that we, that uh, my Epicure balsamic vinaigrette um, and then dredging it in a mixture of panko crumbs with some Parmesan cheese and I like to season it with some of our urban garlic dip mix and just a little bit of the uh, ranch dressing mix. And then I'm gonna put it all onto my, uh, onto my baking sheet and bake it up. And I've already got one batch ready here. Get it over here. So there's my first batch. And once these are all ready, we'll obviously have some for dinner tonight. Whatever we don't eat, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw them all into, once they're all cooled off, I'm gonna put them all into a Ziploc bag, throw them in the freezer, and then they're right there. That is a quick, easy dinner with a nice little side salad. I've got dinner ready in probably, what does it take? Maybe 15, 20 minutes to heat that up from frozen in the, in the oven. And my son gets home from school, he's got the munchies, he can make himself a few chicken fingers. And I know that they are good, they're healthy. I know what's gone into them. I know the ingredients. I can pronounce all the ingredients that went into them. And they're clean, they're healthy, they're quick, they're simple. So uh, I often do that. I like to do big batch cooking when I cook because it does save me time later on when I'm pressed for time or if I have people that drop by for dinner unexpectedly. I love having something ready in the oven and or if it's um, if we're having bad weather and it takes me a little longer to get home at night, I'm not worried about getting home late and then having to start dinner. So things like lasagna, I will, uh, I'll make a lasagna for dinner and I'll make two. And one we'll have for dinner that night, I will wrap up the other one in, uh, in foil and in the freezer it goes shepherd's pie. I do that often with as well. Um, my meat, uh, spaghetti sauce, my bolognese sauce that I do for spaghetti, I never make a single serving of that. I make a big, huge pot of it and I divvy it up into servings that would make for a meal. In the freezer goes chili, same thing. I actually, I had some chili last weekend that we had up on the boat and that is exactly how I ended up with that meal as I had made a big, big batch of chili a little while ago, had frozen it and took it up to the boat with us and we had that for dinner. So that's my simple Saturday chick, uh, kitchen hack. Ah, I'm feeling with chicken and all I go and think about is chicken now. Anyway, that's my kitchen hack in meal prep is whenever you're making something where you might be able to double up on it, do that double up on it and either freeze the rest of it or if you're grilling chicken breasts, grill a few extras, have them and make a chicken Caesar salad for lunch or dinner the next day. Um, you know, I, I love the idea of cook once, eat twice. So keep it simple. That's what life's all about. It's too busy to try and make it complicated. Let's get out there and enjoy the things that really give us pleasure. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my, uh, my kitchen hack and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.